Joe Webb here, and I watched 500 movies in 2020. I didn't expect to, but I woke up January 1st, 2020, and decided my New Year's resolution was gonna be something I enjoyed doing. And while I enjoy work, I love work, I'm a workaholic. A lot of people know me as sort of a fun-loving uh, workaholic, if there could be such a thing. And I'm known for uh, building a company where we review CRMs, communication between the sales professionals and their customers, and we train them to be better. And that's what we're known for. But the truth is, I've always been a massive movie buff at heart. I was the kid that started working in uh, video stores when I was young and uh, and did that even through college because of my love for cinema. I we officially was accepted to graduate film school. I turned it down to work for a year and here I am now. And while I love what I do and I love, you know, the fact that we built an automation, uh, sort of a, a training software to measure and monitor how thoroughly people follow up with their internet opportunities, their sales opportunities, my true passion has always sort of been film. So I decided January 1st, 2020, instead of the usual resolution that I make for myself of diet, exercise, lose weight, eat better, that I inevitably give up on because I hate those things, by mid-February, I chose to do something that I felt was going to be uh, beneficial sort of to my mental health. Just make me happy. Do something for me that I knew I'd like and be able to follow through with. So I decided to make it a rule to watch 365 movies in a year, considering it was gonna be a leap year, 366. So I thought, can I watch a movie a day, 365 days or 366? And uh, they couldn't all be new movies. I knew that, you know, some would be in the movie theater, some would be at home, some would be uh, introducing my kids. I have two sons and we've always had what we call movie night. Friday night is movie night where they bring down their blankets and their pillows and they sort of create a carpet picnic for themselves. And we watch a movie together as a family every single Friday night. And very often it is one from the past. I'm trying to indoctrinate them into the great films that I grew up with of the 80s and 90s, the Goonies of the world, if you will. And I've been keeping track for a few years of all the films I've introduced them to. So uh, I knew that 365, some would be new, some would be rewatches, but every single time I watched one, for the most part, I missed a few, I would leave a review for it on Twitter. And then I would do often a slightly longer review on the Letterboxd app. And that's what I started doing through 2020. When the pandemic hit and people started staying in, that pretty easily started becoming two movies a night where the kids and I would watch one every single night from eight to 10. And then in many cases, my wife and I would watch one from 10 to 12. And that was a big ask because my wife isn't a fan of movies. I am a movie fanatic. She likes sitcoms. So for the past 21 years and change that we've been together, we've always compromised and watched sitcoms. Nonetheless, uh, I, uh, she supported me in this. She watched movies or just looked at her phone if she had no interest in the movies. And I very much tried to pick films she watched. So while there are a lot of kids movies that I reviewed and watched, there are also a lot of horror movies and thrillers that are her preference that I reviewed and watched. But I have taken the time to share with you all 500 movies that I reviewed and some of them are just a few, handful, are series that I watched. 2021, I'm going to make it a point to start watching more series. I only watched maybe four or five series at all in 2020. But I calculated up the amount of hours of the series and I think in just one instance used them to account for maybe 10 movies because there's, you know, countless seasons of shows that I watched as well. Nonetheless, 500 movies. I did it. I hope you enjoy it. I'd love to get a discussion on maybe how many you watched, how many you don't watch, what movies you like, what movies you hate. On my list, things that I haven't watched, I'll give you a couple takeaways. Number one, foreign films are tremendous. 
I strongly recommend that you start uh, giving films made in other countries, international films, a chance, uh, regardless of subtitles. And I know Netflix like to dub them. I prefer them to be in subtitles, but whatever. Uh, they're just, in many cases, a different eye, a different take. And uh, South Korea makes easily the best horror movies. Uh, definitely more than the States. Secondly, please, 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 producers, filmmakers, movie studios, create more family-friendly films. Things that maybe have children and star children, but have a good enough story to keep an adult's interest. You know, I really appreciate when I can find a movie without a lot of adult situations, without a lot of discussions about S-E-X, without countless curse words. Uh, you know, I think kids are pretty accustomed to a lot of violence, but maybe not deplorable, gratuitous violence. Nonetheless, we've, in, in 2020, exhausted, and maybe obviously before that, exhausted a great majority of the family-friendly films that I can show my kids. We're running out of them. And that's decades and decades of films. So, look, I mean, I can also share that list of everything I've shown my kids, and I urge you, start creating movie nights with your kids. It's such an amazing bonding experience, experience to get them involved in the films that you saw in your youth. Their gold, the films of the 80s and 90s, at least for kids, that was the golden age of movies for tweens and teens, if you will, the golden age of it. And I hope that comes back sometime soon. Uh, because a good majority of films don't have that, uh, you know, approachable, you know, approachable parent-approved element to them. And do I regret watching 500 movies all the time I could have spent walking, exercising, doing something else, learning, reading, doing a foreign language? I, I'm not a video game guy or anything. Not for a split second. It has probably been... And I understand that it's been terrible with a pandemic. People have lost their lives. People have lost loved ones. I myself have lost uh, friends as well. But uh, this has been a real, while not growing, <laughs> growing time for me. I will say I, when I watch a film, become totally invested, uh, completely immersed in the environment, the story. And that, I think allowing me to disconnect from the horrors of reality, from the news that was smashing us in the face all year long, I think it did wonders for me. So I don't regret watching 500 movies for a second. And I truly do appreciate every single one of my friends that have followed along, that urged me to keep going, that have commented on the reviews I've left. And with that, I you all a significant debt of gratitude. So with that, let's all go to the movies. Thank you. Hope you enjoy all the reviews.